Now, if you're not familiar with Take Me Out, the basic premise is we have some eligible bachelors and bachelorettes, or all things all around and in between, ready and looking for love tonight. What they're going to do is they're going to come on stage, they're going to reveal some bits about who they are, what they like, what interests them, and what doesn't, and we're going to have some wonderful panelists join us on stage to let us know whether they like them or whether they don't. Everyone got a balloon? Just give us a thumbs up if you've got a balloon. Fantastic. Amazing. So, as you can see, no holds have been barred for tonight's Take Me Out. We didn't want the fancy little light-up bits that they have on the real Take Me Out. No, we have got balloons. Ooh. Okay, let the shepherd see the pie. Single man number one, reveal yourself. What are you looking for in your love, your ideal date? What qualities are you looking for? Fun, bit of a laugh, just, you know, all around nice girl. Shall we ask any of the candidates some questions about what they're looking for tonight? What are you looking for in a gentleman this evening? Someone that's alive. And what would you say gives you the ick? If they don't have a nice ass, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Nick. Will you just give what us a little... What do you think of Nick's ass? It's, it's beautiful. Sorry, what's your name? Introduce yourself to the crowd. I'm Kat. Kat, oh, meow. What are you looking for in a date tonight? A hunky man. A hunky man. We've got a wonderful videotape from the lovely Nick. Keep Hi, my name's Nick. Uh, I'm currently in my fourth year. I've just come back from placement. Uh, my most controversial opinion is Branston baked beans are better than Heinz baked beans. He, um... You know, he's, he's friendly, he's, he goes to the gym, he's athletic, you know, he, he, he's, he's everything you want in a guy, you know? Nick is weirdly attracted to Branston Beans. <laughs> sexually. Se sexually. <laughs> Kat, can I come to you first? Why did you leave your balloon unpopped? Uh, I think he mentioned something about singing, and I'm really into that and just... Can we get a chant going, get your top off? Get your top off, get your top off, get your top off. No, that's, that's not enough, Nick. Come on. Was that enough, audience? No? Let's Shall we go. get the T-shirt off? Go on, Take give it some noise. Give it some noise. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Hey! Woo! <laughs> the thing is, Nick, is that you have secured yourself a girl for tonight. Uh, now, what we need you to do now is pick two girls. <laughs> Nick, meet Kat. Kat, meet Nick. Hello. <laughs> Kat, how are you feeling about being the chosen one? I feel so special. <laughs> and Nick, what was it that drew you to Kat? Dominoes. <laughs> He's a man of simple pleasures, Kat. I think you might get along just fine. Can we give a massive round of applause to Nick and Kat, who are off to the Isle of Fernando? <laughs> I've got an important question for you. What is love for you? Honey, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Oh my goodness. Jam by name, jam by nature. I'm all hot and sticky. <laughs> so, Miss Chico, what do you reckon to Jam's serenading about what is love? <coughs> Baby, don't hurt him. Very close to popping it by Pity Him. Petty is unequivocally up for making a sex tape. <laughs> Now that's established, shall we let you two on your merry way? Off you go. <laughs> to the Isle of Fernando. So, for those of you that don't know, our final round is the blind dates. And a massive plot twist is that it is a gay blind date, ladies and gentlemen. You are taken, please, indulge us as to how you found the love of your life. Oh, well, James. Should we take a seat? Let's take a seat, because this is going to be a long one. It was my first time on Loughborough University campus at a little event called the Freshers' Bazaar. I entered it as a young, hung, skinny twink, <laughs> ready for the gleaming lights of Loughborough, and I made a beeline for the rainbow-colored stall that was the LGBT Plus Association. Uh, I made eye contact with the chair at the time. We fucked and we're still together five years later. <laughs> Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. It's Danny. Nick, 
likelihood of um, these five candidates, do you feel confident that you've probably spoken to 80% of them on Grindr? <laughs> More like 80% of the room. Danny, what do you look for in a man? A massive ego. Tonight could be your night to find love. And I've got a feeling in my cock that it is your night. <laughs> do we think it is too, audience? Ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause. It's your candidates for the blind date. So, very important part of this game that we must not forget. We must not ask you for any one of your names. Here's a video for you all to get to know Danny just a little bit more. Hi, my name is Danny. I'm in my third year and I study chemistry. Uh, my favourite pickup line is, do you like dragons? Because I'm going to be dragons my balls across your face. Like <laughs> the most spontaneous thing I have ever done was, this isn't actually my first dating show I've been on. Um, I auditioned for Naked Attraction. <laughs> I was cast. But it got to the point where I was going to have to like, talk to my personal tutor, who at the time was like a 60-year-old white man, and I was like, no. <laughs> this is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What a fantastic video. And if he's already auditioned for Naked Attraction, perhaps we can expect some more exposing on this stage. What do you think, audience? <laughs> I was going to say, Alex, obviously it's Take Me Out Now. In about 10 minutes, it could become Naked Attraction. Daddy, what is your first question to our five dazzling candidates tonight? What do you like to do when you're hungover? What's the point of being hangover? You can just be drunk when you wake up. Ooh, Fair. that's smart. Fair. Think smarter, not harder. I like it. McDonald's and regret my decisions from the night before. Oh, McDonald's and regret he, regretting his decisions from the night before. We've all done that. And can we go to candidate D? <laughs> <laughs> I think they love the D. Uh-huh. Don't we all? Uh, the white room in Echoes. Oh, oh. Alex, I, I think they misinterpreted the question. It wasn't where their favorite place in which they had a shag was. It was where would you shag? Um, Danny, what about you? Well, if we're going on where I've shagged, it's the Tesco rushes. The entirety of Tesco is up for grabs, ladies and gentlemen. If you were to take me on holiday, where would you take me? Well, I recognize that voice and uh, knowing you, probably a BDSM dungeon. <laughs> Have you shagged Candidate C before? I never let him. Oh! Well, I wouldn't really want a bottom for five inches. Oh! Well, let's, let's get it down to two, shall we? It's a big decision, and it wouldn't be the gay round without taking Candidate D! I think I want a bit of Candidate E. Oh. Candidate E! Give them a round of applause, everybody! <laughs> I think I need some inspiration, so does anyone from the audience want to donate a question for me to ask? Ah! What question would you like to ask, Danny? <laughs> What's the quickest way to get you on your knees? Clearly Brian told me and just walk over. <laughs> Decide which boy he'll be taking to the Isle of Fernando or to his bed. Can we get some like dramatic music or, or something what of that love? sort? And I want to hear your thoughts from the audience as well. Will it be candidate D or candidate E? Candidate D or Candidate E, Danny? What will it be? Well, I'm quite a selfish person and all, I need all eyes to be on me. So I'm sorry, Candidate D. It's going to have to be Candidate E. Candidate E! You have been Reveal. chosen. Take off your blindfold, Danny, darling. Here was the wonderful Candidate E. Here is your wonderful Candidate E. Give it up one more time for them. Just hold hands for me, darlings. Okay, well, plenty more of that can happen while we whisk you off to the Isle of Fernando! <laughs> Audience, have you enjoyed yourselves tonight? It has been our absolute pleasure to host LSU Rags. We've been absolute. your hosts. Thank you very much! Thank you.